What's up guys and welcome back to the Chaotic Battle Channel. Today we are playing as the Confederacy and our ally is Private Yeti Hunter. And as the Union is Otto the Enclave and Cravel. They're playing as the First Corps and the Second Corps of the Army of the Potomac. And I'm playing as the Third Corps of the Army of Northern Virginia and my ally is the Second Corps. So the only thing uh, you guys really missed was I moved my artillery up here. He chased it back down here, and now I'm forming it up again as I push my infantry forward. Now, what we didn't realize uh, before we get to it is that though we greatly outnumber him on this map, all of these units get glitched and they can't come over here. So, he doesn't have any of his artillery. All this artillery ends up getting glitched out and is not even able to be used in the end. And these men are only able to be on this side of the river, which nothing is really happening. So in the end, we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 28 guns all together. His guns are on the back. So one army, so it was either Otto or Cravel, but one of them took all infantry. And he loves using them in this thick Napoleonic formation. And then the other guy went all cavalry and all, uh, I think it's all mid, oh no, all late war cavalry, I believe. Yeah, all late war regiment cavalry, and then he took a bunch of, uh, of uh, ordnance guns. Alright guys, I'm going to fast forward until everyone's in position. Alright guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you some of their artillery. So I've got 4, 8, 14, 18, 24, 28, 32, and I think they have one more over here. So from here on out, it's pretty much an artillery battle. Even though, I'm pretty sure they outnumber us here. I've got about, we've got about 4,000 men on this side. On our whole side, all together, we have about 4,000 men. I think that's about their whole army. Maybe 4,300. But yeah, for the next 20 minutes or so, it's just me bombarding this area and knocking out his cannons at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward Got a little bit of cavalry action over here. Sharpshooters are fighting back well. Especially against the late war regiment. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the next bit of action. Alright guys, so uh, my ally Yeti Hunter is doing a little attack over here now. He tried to cross his artillery, but they all glitched up, so he lost all of his artillery. So he can't bring any units across here. So now it's actually a pretty even battle, or we might even be outnumbered. We're about to get a little bit of action over here. Men flying everywhere. Oh, that was his own cannon.
shooting a lot of his own men here. A couple of really good shots, though. The battle does not seem to be going well for him. Alright, let's fast forward a little bit more. Welcome back, guys. So, after getting bombarded to shit, he's finally uh, moving his men out to get ready to attack me. He's moved some men over to this flank. You can see my ally's still stuck over here. He can't bring any men up. And now they've engaged over here. So just to show you some of the things I've been bombarding, let's go check out his cannons. I've shot a lot of them to shit. There's a minor skirmish right here, but it wasn't really worth showing. Now he's going to push forward and start his attack over here. At one point while they were sitting there, I just kept bombarding the woods, so I killed a bunch there. And then I started relentlessly uh, bombarding him here. He still has more in those woods, too. That's the crazy part. If he would have taken this whole area by the flank, we might have been in trouble, but he never did. So let's see how many men Yeti Hunter has over here. It's about 1,500 men right there. Because this is mine, so I've got one, two. I've got nine, so that would be twenty two hundred, yeah, twenty two fifty plus fifteen hundred. So we've got like thirty seven hundred men. They've got, or we would have, I mean, we do more or less. We've taken some losses, but I'm talking about our beginning count. And then over here, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So actually, I have more men. But he has more cannons and more cavalry.
They're getting shot to shit over here. I say I took all volunteers. It looks like he took a lot of the same. Yankees didn't take too many volunteers, doesn't look like. Yeah, he got stuck too. a bold little charge. Let's say Zuavs are usually better than volunteers. Let's see what happens.
Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, my general got sniped early on in the battle while I was fast-forwarding through artillery. His body's somewhere around here. Well, regardless. Oh, there he is. I do believe that is my general right there. to fall for a while. So only the only the flag bearer and the officer stand after that. Everyone else got knocked out. He's going to try to go take care of those cannons. Some artillery devastation.
brave march up. Better split up quick. It's been a while since I played this one, though. Hancock. Epically supporting his troops. Oh, I think that was a fuck. I think that was a cannonball that just got fired at me. Like right into my screen. For sure was. And he just shot his own men. So, we would have massively outnumbered them at the end of this, if it not for the glitchy bridges. Check out the battlefield real quick. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so they had 4,000... Pretty, pretty much about almost 4,400 men. About 40, 4,350, something like that. And then you have to discount some of his, so we probably had around, same around, right around the same numbers, probably. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.